All right, welcome back. Uh, in the last video, we were talking about representing real-world quantities using a uh, computer system's uh, number uh, system. Uh, we looked at decimal and binary and uh, quickly talked about how we count in binary. So here is where we left off last time. So here's the count of decimal numbers from 0 through 15 and a corresponding count in binary. of. Uh, so since there are 15, 0 to 15 is total of 16 numbers. So we have a total of 16 numbers. Uh, uh, since we have a total of 16 numbers, we need a total of 4 binary bits to represent them. So the binary bits count go from 0, 0, 0, 0, 4. That's 4 bits right here, all the way to 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, how do you know? So for example, here's a table, but how do we really know? what a collection of binary bit really means uh, in our number system. What does it mean to say 1001? So when a computer f says 4-bit number and says 1001, what does that really mean? In order to do that, let's uh, first deviate and let's take a look at our own number system. Let's say I write down the number 5037. 5037. What does that really mean? Well, 5037, we can, uh, you know, we did this in uh, some elementary school. Uh, collect them, uh, we separate out 5037. And basically, the seventh uh, number is in its ones place, three is in its tens place, zero is in it the hundredth place, and five is in the thousandth place. Well, these weights, these things right here, the places of these numbers, are also called weights. Right, so this has a weight of 1, this has a weight of 10, so 3 has a weight of 10, 0 has a weight of 100, and 5 has a weight of 1,000. Another way to write that is basically 10 to the power 0, which is 1, 10 to the power 1, which is 10, 10 to the power 2 is 100, 10 to the power 3 is 1,000. So basically, when we write this, we can write this as 5037 as a collection of its number multiplied by the weight at its place, right? So that's how would we do in our number system, 5037. 5037, if we break it up, is basically a collection of weights in 10 to the power and the number in its place. So why 10 to the power? Because we're counting in our number system, counting from 0 through 9. So there's a total of 10, okay? We can use the exact same principle we can use the exact same principle when we deal with binary numbers. So here is the number 1001. Now this is computer's number. Well, there's only 0 and 1, so there's only two numbers. In our case, we had 0 through 9, so we had a total of 10 numbers, right? So we added, uh, we multiplied with weights of 10 to the powers. So in 1001 case, let's separate them out again, 1001 like that. And then we, let's write down its weights. The weights this time are not 10 to the power, but 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, and 2 to the power 3. And now, what that is, is 2 to the power 0 is 1, 2 to the power 1 is 2, 2 to the power 2 is 4, and 2 to the power 3 is 8. So he, these are my weights. Now, since these weights are now there, what do we do? Just like before, just like here, we basically take this number and multiply the weight this number and multiply its weight, this number and multiply the weight, this number right here and multiply with its weight. The nice thing about binary is there's only multiplication is fairly trivial, right? One times something is one, uh, well, sorry, one times something is whatever that something is, and zero times something is just zero. So in other words, we can just ignore the ones with a weight of a zero, I mean the numbers where there are zeros, because eventually they're going to add nothing to the sum. So but we can still write it as 1 times the weight, 0 times the weight, 0 times the weight, 1 times the weight, and which leads us to 9. So 1001, 1001 in the binary number system or the computer's number system. And sometimes we, instead of, in order to make sure that we don't confuse that with uh, 1001, sometimes you'll find that people will write the, a small 2 underneath that, indicating that it's a binary number system. And that is equal to the 29 in our number system, and to indicate the number system, sometimes we write a small one zero underneath, meaning our number system, right? So one zero zero one is equal to 29 in our number system. Well, let's do one more example. So if we do one more example, let's take a look at a 8-bit number, right? 8-bit number is a collection of 8 binary bits, and remember it's called a byte. 
so a byte. So here's eight bits. So that's eight bits. That's equal to a byte. So the question is, what is one 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 zero one zero zero one? Right. That's how we read them. Uh, what is that in our number system? That's a long number system. So let's just uh, separate them out just so that we can add the widths. Now this time the widths are again starting at two to the power zero, two to the power one, two to the power two, three, two to the power four, two to the power five, two to the power six, two to the power seven. Well, there's a total of eight bits, so we go from two to the power zero to two to the power seven. Right? So the weights are basically 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. And just like before now, we're going to multiply the weight with the place. The weight with the place, weight with this place, weight, and that's it. So we're basically going to be adding 128, 64, 32, and 8. And that gives us 232. So that's basically how we represent a binary number system string, a computer's number system string, in, and uh, and understand it as our number system. Okay, So this is how we go from a computer's number system to our number system. And the reason I brought up an 8-bit example is because later on we're going to look at the Arduino, and the Arduino uses number systems uh, that are 8-bit wide. So the Arduino is an 8-bit computer. It can do larger numbers, but most of uh, most of our discussion will be limited to 8 bits in that system. Okay. So, uh, next, now we figure out how to go from a computer number system, a binary string, to our number system. Well, let's do the reverse. So, what is our number, let's say, for example, what does our number 12, if we say 12, what does it look like to a computer? Okay, so, well, for this, basically, let's go back to our own number system and say here is 12 okay now in the 12 the one belongs to the tens place and two belongs to the ones place but how do we extract that out so here's an example i mean this might sound silly well let's divide it by 10 so this is our own number system okay if i divide 10, 12 by 10 here's my quotient and here's my remainder so the remainder is 2 right so this is my remainder okay I keep dividing my own number until I get a quotient of 1. And then when I get a quotient of 1, I read back the remainder like this. So 12 is 1 and 2. Okay, All right. Using the same kind of principle, we're going to do the same thing on a binary number system side. So instead of dividing by 10 this time, we'll divide by 2 and keep track of the remainder. So here's 12. Let's divide that by 2. Well, we get 6 in the quotient and a 0 in the remainder. Well, here is 6 now, so let's divide that by 2. Okay, we get 3 in the quotient and 0 in the remainder. I have 3. Let's divide that by 2. Let's, let me divide that by... Uh, let me divide the 3 by 2, and that basically gives me 1 in the quotient and 1 as the remainder. Now, when I get, to, when I get a uh, quotient of 1, I stop, and I read the remainder backwards, so I want to read it backwards. Okay, just like before. So this time I'll read it as one one zero zero. So one one zero zero. That's what I read it as. Okay. Well, that's twelve in. It should be our number system is one one zero zero in binary. Well, how do we check this? How do we know that this is correct? Well, let's write down one one zero zero. What are the weights? One, two, four. Eight. So the weights are 8 plus 4 equals 12. Okay, So that's how we go from a number, that's how our number of 12 gets represented to a computer as a string of binary bits. Let's take one more example, quick example. 125, what does that look like to a computer? 125, again, we'll start to do repeated division by 2 and keep track of the remainder. And when we are done, we'll read the remainder backwards. So 125 divided by 2 is basically 62 quotient and 1 remainder. 62 divided by 2 is 31 with a remainder of 0. 31 divided by 2 is 15 with a remainder of 1. 15 divided by 2 is 7 with a remainder of 1. 7 divided by 2 is 3 with a remainder of 1. And 3 divided by 2 is a quotient of 1 with a remainder of 1. And just like before, we read it backwards. When you reach 1, we'll stop and read things backwards. So 125 in our number system, so this would be R again, our number, is basically 1111101. One, 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 zero, 
one in binary. And let's verify this quickly. I'll, let's write down the weights. And in this case, I have the weights of 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1. So that gives me a total of 125. So now we've seen how to go from a computer's number system to our number system or our number system to our computer number system. And we'll continue with this discussion in our next video.